Peace and blessings. This is Misao Bay, aka Warlock Asylum, coming at you once again with another episode of an episode of Raw Talk. And let me just check my mic and everything, see if we're good, see if y'all can hear me. Um, today I want to talk about success because success means so many different things to different people. You have material success, you have um, uh, physical success, um, any you know form of gratification a lot of people associate with success. But what is spiritual success? And uh, I'm gonna take this from an Nzu point of view or perspective, which is like a life perspective is ultimately is you coming into this world and learning the lessons that you need to learn as a spirit in flesh before you move on to your next incarnation. And a lot of times why this is important in terms of magic and things of that nature is because you could be working against learning those lessons. You know, maybe based on your, you know, foundation, as a physical being, um, maybe a you know a cultural background or just different things, when you do learn uh, esoteric arts and you know maybe some advanced spiritual techniques, or maybe even you know some mysticism or things, uh, in some arenas of life. And a lot of it depends on the person's understanding. You know, they would try to use these things to alter certain fates. But in that, they could be putting up a roadblock for life lessons that they should be learning. So, you know, this is why in a lot of cases, uh, some people may get involved in something and there's a lot of blowback or they're just not getting to where they want to get to. Um, the main thing in learning life lessons is a level of prosperity that's achieved through that. However, if a person is trying to force their way, you know, through use of some invisible technology, unseen technology, they could be putting a roadblock for the life lessons learned, and that will cause a blowback or it will cause a halt in reaching levels of certain uh, physical prosperity. That's very, very, very important, you know, to understand. So um, a lot of times in the old days, I'm talking about, uh, you know, what's documented even before, you know, um, I was around or many of us around, but in the early part of the century, you really couldn't be part of an esoteric school unless you had a normal working foundation as a person of society for that reason. Because, um, you know, this is understood in the deeper circles of esotericism. So instead of you like, hey, you know, uh, I want to use this to become aware of myself and my place in the universe and to, you know, advance myself as a spirit. They would try to utilize uh, what they were learning to get out of a situation without cultivating their spirit. Even in texts like the Simon Necronomicon or other books and things, if you read the introductory notes, it says that a person's progress is going to equate itself to their outward experience. Even levels of what we think of success, because society pushes a view of success so that it can feed itself on humanity. They may push that you need to have this or this type of car. And these are things that are admirable to work for. You know, a person should like I said in the beginning, have a, a nice foundation. Now, it doesn't mean that, you know, a person has to um, 
you know, have a certain level of money or whatever. It just means that they understand and are working, you know, with the principles of life, the honorable principles of life in their undertakings. And based on that, they can move on and proceed to uh, learn greater things about themselves in the universe, you know. But primarily, the condition of life, it may vary. A person could be poor, you know, enter a school of life, uh, you know, or learning about themselves and everything like that. They could be homeless and learn a lot of different things about themselves, whatever the case may be. I think sometimes that's necessary because the mold of what they was raising has to be shattered. However, what I'm saying is that uh, how a person acclimates in society should be on the level of uh, where they understand who they are and where they're at in the world. and and. You know, and that's a gradual understanding that will come through life. However, they definitely would not want to use what they're learning to prevent the lessons that they need to learn in life. You see, and a lot of people, because of their fascination with what they can change, they lose learning those lessons. It's for us to the wayside. And if you watch this video, if you was to stop and just take a look at what has happened in your life up into the time of this video, what lessons have you learned in life? You know, lessons mean that you didn't have an understanding before going into an experience or situation. And how was how did that unveil itself to you? So it takes humility, it takes modesty, a lot of different things, because that's key to uh, your survival in this world and the next. So that's a quick lesson about, you know, this, what success means spiritually and, you know, um, how misunderstanding some things could actually prevent our spiritual success, you know, or even our raising up our spirits, cultivating our spirits, or the lessons that we need to learn in life. This is Misael Bay, aka Warlock Asylum, coming at you once again with another episode of Raw Talk. And I want to say, have a good night. <laughs>